love her already. It has only been a couple days. You want us to stay away from each other? Are you crazy? All right, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we are doing another episode. Guys, the last episode ended up on another cliffhanger. Each one of these always ends on a cliffhanger, but the last one was very dramatic. So we're gonna jump into this new episode, see what's popping, see what's gonna happen between both papas because there's a duel going on. I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's a lot going on. Basically, Maya's dad is crazy on another level. Um, but yeah, so let's jump into this game, see what's popping, see what's happening, and get into it. Okay. Boy, are you and my enemy? How dare you betray your own blood? We're not gonna deal with you, okay? Everyone needs to leave. We're settling this once and for all. Um, guys, we don't need that. No, this has to stop. Girl, you are one little small person. You think you're gonna do anything? Probably not. You're gonna end up shot. It's too late. This has already gone too far. Uh, <clears throat> he said, not today or too long. Then what do you suggest we do now? There's only one way out of this. Um, her dad has issues. Our families leave each other alone completely. <laughs> Wait. Wait, this doesn't include Maya and Kaden, right? Right? That shouldn't be even a suggestion. I'm sorry, Hunter. I thought I liked you, but I don't anymore, okay? You want us to stay away from each other? Are you crazy? You and I stay out of each other's way as we previously agreed, and our children stop this whatever this is. Deal. Excuse me. Um, do we not have a say in this? I'm, I didn't realize y'all were in the relationship. We're in the relationship. You have... Nothing to do with it. Y'all just have issues towards each other. Leave our business out of your business. Thank you. You can't do that. That's enough, son. Um, listen, Papa Hunter, we are not gonna deal with you, okay? The deal has been made. What? So, what? What? So we can't be together? This is sad. I don't understand why you just don't end it once and for all. Because of his daughter. His daughter? His daughter cares for Kaden. And I know Kaden cares for her. But you made the deal. You made the deal. You're the one who said we couldn't be together. It was your idea. But you now you want to care? Now you want to care. Killing her father will destroy her. But I know my son. And if he does love her, it's only a matter of time before he finds a way to be with her again. Oh, okay. My feelings about you are very mixed. I could like you, but I could not like you. Girl, you look sad. <laughs> Don't cry. My father starts the car and doesn't say a word. Ugh, now we're stuck in a car with him? Torture. There's nothing more to be said. My fate's been decided. My life is ripped from me so my father can live his the way he wants. My tears won't stop. Oh, why does she have a plant? And why is she kicking it? Girl, you got issues just like your dad. I was at the end of my rope and when I'm this upset, I break down, lose control. No, we're not gonna lose control. We don't need another situation going on. Just break down. Yeah, just cry. <laughs> <laughs> hey mom sweetie why are you out here in the rain because mom your husband is a psychotic old man yep you'll catch a cold what happened um your husband oh my uh, why are you here shouldn't you be at camp with your friends i um mom let's go inside we need to talk yeah i'm gonna tell you the tea mom about your crazy husband what did those flowers do to you come on honey tell me what's the matter here drink this you know you can trust me with anything i bet she doesn't know the criminal dad really is i have to tell her she'd be safer and i wouldn't feel so alone mom will know what to do i'll open up and tell her who dad really is leave her to fend for herself why would you leave your mom out of the loop we gotta tell mom we gotta tell her. I told mom everything. What happened between me and Kaden, what dad did, how I saw him pointing a gun at Kaden, everything. Sweetie, this is too much for you to get involved in. No shit, thanks mom. Your husband needs to go to a mental institution. I'm sorry, he's crazy. The knights are your father's enemies. Wh I'm sorry, does she know about this? She knows about this. Okay. What? Did you just hear what I just said? Dad wanted to kill Kaden and you tell me to stay away? How involved are you, Mom? Not at all. But I admit, I'm known more than I should. And I haven't been the best mother, but I've been trying to protect you from it. Y'all been keeping secrets, and now you're telling me to stay away from the love of my life? You know what? Y'all are just, you're rude. You're rude. Let's move out of this house, Mom, please. You can't stay with him. I'm married to your dad, Maya, and all his faults. Okay. For better and for worse, I have to stay here with him. Well, I don't. I'm about to leave. Peace out, guys. 
Show her you're angry. Show her you're strong. Um, I mean, I am really angry. I am angry. I'm not, I am strong, but I'm angry too. I'm just gonna show her I'm angry. No, I don't know. I feel like angry will be better, you know? Cause everyone's keeping secrets and I have to stay away from Kaden. I'm angry. I refuse to let him get away with this. I will never forget what I saw and I'll never look at my dad the way I did before. Maya, what? Get over here, we need to have a talk. Excuse me, don't talk to me like that. Don't, don't talk to me like that. I don't like you. If you need to tell our daughter something, you do it in front of me. I won't take this shady business in my house anymore and I refuse to let you drag our daughter into it. Oh, so you told her about our little incident tonight? Yeah. I did. How dare you? Excuse me, how dare you? You brought me into this, okay? I'm sorry, maybe if you didn't want to be like a psychotic person, you shouldn't have gotten into your business, okay? I'm so sick of his walking all over me and my mom like we're nothing. He controls her and makes deals with other criminals about who I can and can't date. I'm so done. If mom can stand up to him, I can too. Oh no, how dare you? I dare because I'm a badass? Oh no, that sounds so stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. No, I'm standing up to him because I, I just want to knock him out one too, honestly, because I don't like him. No, how dare you? You treat me like I'm just a pawn for you to move around to maintain your perfect public image. Oh, come on, you're my daughter. I'm sorry, this is not how you treat a daughter, so no. As far as I'm concerned, not anymore. I'm not your pawn, I'm a person. I'm my own damn person and I'm through letting you control my life like a puppeteer. So yes, I told mom everything and I'll tell the newspapers too if you don't listen to me. What do you want, you meddling girl? Oh, see, I know the nice act was fake because you're an ass. I refuse to live in this house anymore now that I know what goes down here. I want my own place in this city. Oh, she said blackmail, period, go off queen. Fine. That's when you know he can't stand her, is when he wants her to leave. Back in my room, I gave in to the overwhelming feelings of anger, sadness, fear. Sadness? Because this is a sad situation. I gave in to the overwhelming feeling of sadness. My whole world was crumbling around me, and I wasn't even supposed to see Caden. The one person who would understand and who would have my back. Oh, he said, Romeo and Juliet, knock on your window. Maya! Then I hear something at my window. Hey, boo-boo, could you do? How you doing, sir? Caden, what are you doing here? Maya, I had to see you tonight, but we can't be together anymore. <laughs> this is really Romeo and Juliet, guys. Are they gonna die in the end? I'll never let that happen. No matter what happens, you and I are gonna be together. Even if we have to sneak around for the rest of our lives, I can't be apart from you one day longer. <laughs> oh no, I feel like they're gonna die. Because I, I love you, Maya. How do you love her already? It has only been a couple days. Y'all move fast. You move fast. I've waited so long to hear Kaden say those words. You, um, you don't have to say anything. I just wanted you to know. I should have said it a long time ago and I don't ever want to doubt my feelings for you again. We can finally say it openly. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Kaden, I, I love you too. I don't feel the same. <gasps> I don't feel the same. Just kidding, guys. I'm spending the coin. I love you, too. <laughs> I love you, too. Nothing will keep us apart anymore. Nothing. Not even this balcony. Did he just jump up on my window? Maya. Um. Right. It might be dangerous, but I'm still gonna make this work for us. Maya, where are you? We're not finished with this discussion. Um. Pretty sure we are, because I'm moving out. I have to go now. I'll find you in school. Good night, my love. Okay, this is so cheesy. What is going on with this? If anyone ever called me my love, I would vomit in their face. Thanks for coming, guys. Of course. Camp wasn't the same after you left, so this is where you're gonna live? No, this is where we're gonna live. So everyone's moving in with me? Wait, I'm confused. Are we in high school or not? We're just living on our own and like their parents are okay with it? I'm confused. Are we graduated or... Have I not been paying attention? I think we, did we graduate? Mmm, that's confusion. How did you score a penthouse for three in the Bellevue? And your dad's okay with this? I used a little leverage. I knew you had some brains behind all that beauty. Shut up and let's go check out what makes this place a million dollar complex. Oh, so they're rich rich. Okay. It was my first step towards freedom for my parents, experienced my first taste of independence, and maybe this place would be a start of a new life full of Caden, even if we did have to sneak around. This apartment would be the perfect place to get him alone. Let's see the place where my life begins. Holy, you and Caden have confessed your love despite having forbidden from seeing each other. Will you be able to keep your relationship a secret? Keep reading to find out. Okay, so basically this is like Romeo and Juliet but modern. Right? 
right? And we're in the mafia. Well, that was that episode. I don't, I feel like they're gonna die at the end, guys. Like, I don't know why. This just gives me Romeo and Juliet vibes, and it's just gives me killer vibes you know so that was the game um but i hope you guys liked it give me your guys' thoughts in the down comment what am i saying the comments down below um let me know what you guys thought of this episode but i hope you guys liked it if you did give it a thumbs up if you like me subscribe down below i love you guys don't forget to love yourself until next time i'll see y'all later peace out scouts bye